Ah, Af- Arcade Token's house. Uh, we are only okay. friends with people who play video games with us, not our regular friends. They're not oh. even friends. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Kevin, games, I know you're not talking. I know yeah. you're not talking, Mr. D- Dinner Extravaganza. I, 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 I saw that on Instagram like a, like a fan. Like a like a fan. I didn't what? even know about the dinner. It's because you're not a couple. It's couples Pat, only. Pat always has somebody on his arm, though. I Wait, ain't, I ain't really what? About Brendan that. went with his twin brother. <laughs> I was That's looking. I was like, oh, okay. Who, who was there who wasn't on the journey? <laughs> 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 who's, who's these new niggas in the on the in the table? <laughs> I didn't get the invite. I wanted to see Kevin cry. <laughs> now we're even then, Patrick. So, Kev, wait a second. Why Why do you have... So what's the other camera for? Why even have the other one on? What? You, you have, have your phone? You other camera. You, You're it's, using your phone. I'm not using my phone. So what's oh, the other oh, camera? There's another box. Oh, it's, that's look- my laptop. So I can see you guys here because the TV's above me. So I always look like I'm looking above everybody. But now I can look at you directly, and then there's a camera right on top of that. But here's the thing, though. You right. only have sound coming from this one screen. So you don't have sound or video coming from the other one. So why is it even on? Oh, so it's for eye level. The sound, is not, the sound is coming from the podcast stuff. It's for eye level to hear. Yeah, it's for eye line. It's so I can just, look like uh, I'm looking at you guys and not above you. But if you're gotcha. if you're concerned about editing, you could to hear you have an option on here to say any... Like hidden video, you can hide it, so it will only be five boxes instead of six. Yeah, I hide, I hide non-video pr- participants. Do you see six yeah. boxes on yours? I do. Now it's gone. I see that um, one now. Thanks, man. Who's just fussing? Why you got the the block zone there? And you know I ain't had my Seven Eleven hot dog this morning. Drove upset. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had a Seven Eleven hot dog in a while, so you just. Just Why you got the other talking. box on if you're going to just be on your phone and <laughs> carrying on on the TikToks? So here does I... the 7-Eleven hot dog box like this. Woo! Stuck <laughs> 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 I got to get this. That's, That's crazy. That's hilarious, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Lulu. Hey, Lulu. I had a great time <laughs> at, the, at the gaming last night. And Pat, I had a fantastic time at the dinner as well. You guys both should have been there at both events. It was fantastic. Wait, you was gaming too? Mm-hmm. No, he was not, Lulu. He's a blast. lying. Had a blast. Yes. He was in there as Dr. Robotnik. He didn't <laughs> know there was just <laughs> I was trying to think of something. <laughs> they had him in cosplay. <laughs> ah, I'm going to get those rings. Yeah. <laughs> He was playing super uh, blood pressure medicine. <laughs> <laughs> man, what's up? I see the hair popping. Got the little, oh, you know what I'm saying? You're giving me mad Ashanti vibes right now. Hey, I'm you know, Amazon, Amazon ponytail, what up? Oh, girl, so Is it right. really? Yes, yeah. girl, it's like 10, 11 dollars. I know, they be like hot 12. You get you a nice pony really? for a week. You search ponytail? Yes. Yeah. On Amazon? Okay, we don't all search for, what do you search for? Your weird, like, little microphone. Uh, uh, I had to do your hair, but not do it. Polo sticks and shit. Like, we can't just Google hair. <laughs> she didn't have nothing. Normal shit, like I'm going to type in ponytail, see what pops up. <laughs> oh, snap. Hello, ponytails. Yes. It, it got locks, everything. too. If you want to add some locks to your... They have to locks? Ex- yeah, if you want to add some extensions, you could add or, a little... A or little add some that are girl. done at the root. You just uh-huh. don't... <laughs> <laughs> Look at y'all. Well, Megan no, good. If he ain't Megan good pop up? He ain't gonna do with no weave either, Meg. You know if he. That's he just, easy. He could just throw a little hey, wig on, a little lace. Megan, Megan like good this. pops up on Amazon if you type in locks. I swear to you, it's. Hilarious. Oh yeah, she be because she has like the nice faux locks that like those are the ones that girls oh, be buying. People yeah. are using her face a lot. Uh, what if what if your face was on there? <laughs> That's like <laughs> dirty. They were like men's hair units. You use uh. locks. They like... <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, they're making fun of you. <laughs> you shut your bald head ass up. You will never be on anything somebody searches. Right. <laughs> I'll be on uh people who yeah. are tall dot com. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm Not six really. one. That ain't even tall. tall. That, that is thing tall to, to hear. 
I'm not tall. I'm not even yeah. average. So shut up. Your you like, ball what you like, five eight? Tahir is five five. No, wide. Tahir is Tahir. 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 You're like an inch taller than me. I'm, I'm like I'm five seven. I'm like five nine, Lou. You are lying. I don't think you five nine. On, on, no, I'm not here. Tahir. He is not five nine. I'm five ten. <laughs> Take don't do sentence. that. You see, don't do that. You got to be honest because what you're you're spreading that it's okay to lie about your height. And I'm tired of y'all dudes doing Lou, that. I'm if you five like ten, Lou. say you five ten. Don't say you six feet. Lou, I just went to the doctor last week. Y'all know I had COVID. First of all, another lie. Tested. I had to get tested. You okay. went to Dr. Pepper and picked oh. up a 24 pack. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. And that's afterwards. not asked for your height at the COVID testing place. You liar. No, I went. I had to go to my general. Uh, <laughs> I went to my general physician. You went to I General got, Tao's Chicken. Don't <laughs> that ain't no doctor. I, I got, got. I got. I got weight, and I got my height taken. I was five eleven last week. <laughs> That was the carnival. You can't Do just I go up from a, <laughs> what the from man five, say at the to carnival. Five eleven in he three minutes. Your way. Lou, to I'm trying you, to tell you. Not, I'm, I'm to hear you feet. sit on an apple box to be taller than me, and I'm five seven. So you're not. Oh, hey, man, I remember man, that. Because you were you were wearing you were wearing <laughs> fucking Skechers, and they made you like three feet taller than you needed to be. That wasn't here. Was on an apple pie box standing next to me. <laughs> Hey, to hear in a waiting room waiting for Dr. Pepper is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Pepper, yeah, they said you had 23 white, flavors. In, in no, no, the 23 flavors. Coat. He here Yo. is 5'11. He's 5'11 wide. I already Meg, made that joke, stop, Megan. Meg. Did you say it was? Stop. Oh, man. <laughs> Shut up, Kev. You Meg, use my joke uh, too. Meg, did your um, boyfriend, did he win on Dogecoin? Ooh, Don't you pronounce I have a boyfriend. I have a fiance. So get it right. Me. Okay, I respect. I respect your your dreams. I thought uh, it was a Does Doge your fiance? Coin. Did he win on Do Dogecoin or Dogecoin? I don't know how you say it. I thought it was Dodge. He went. He won. He does other stuff in crypto. Oh, he don't. He didn't. He didn't go in on Doge. He or don't Doge. Need that. He made his own up, right? He can. He need that. He, yeah, he's a crypto developer, so he don't need that. He's a. He crypto developed developer. his own money. He, yeah, he's made he a couple his own of, money like Usher. <laughs> he, he made a couple of different cryptocurrencies. That's tight. He was he in uh, what's it called? I can't say it. Ethereum, 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 Ethereum. Is that how you say it? Ethereum. I think it's Ethereum. Ethereum. Did y'all did y'all buy any? Mm -mm, I don't even know I what it all. Buy that. Like, the time, say it one more time, Meg. I got it all. I got Bitcoin, Ethereum. I got some other ones. You, you don't have a wedding anniversary point. though, so none of that matters. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. Hold on, Meg. I'm gonna get my because gun. Other people in here don't have gun, wedding Meg. anniversary. I'm gonna get my. Get Pat it. Don't want to get married. Pat don't want to get married. He wants yeah. a house. He went, Pat said he wants a house, and then his wife could have a house. I mean, his, not his wife, but his long-term partner can have a house next to his. Man, Patrick gonna be the hippie Hugh Hefner. Like, that's it. Just a weed compound with a mad bath. weird, because he ain't going to require the chicks that. to take showers or bath. It's going to stink in that house. Wow. <laughs> wow to hear. You can't just add that to the... I've, I've never even walked like with a, that. It's right like now. a black farm. I love it. Yeah. A black farm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Lulu. That's why the... It's going to be all bad chicks and dogs. It's just going to smell the same in the house. A whole bunch of Rottweilers and cucumbers and shit. <laughs> like, it's like... Uh Rottweilers and cucumbers is hilarious. <laughs> Them so things don't, I don't think I've ever seen a cucumber and a Rottweiler the same thing. Like, man, you know they got house. Rottweilers and cucumbers over there. You will at Patrick's no, farm. Nobody's it's not a farm. Stop done. calling it that. Nobody's getting their hair done. Everybody's thumbs are burnt from bl burning blunts and shit. It's just, oh, it's just going to stink. My I bad. Just, it's not a farm. Pack. It's a compound. You're right. It's a Do compound. Do y'all live there? What was what was the arcade token house? Explain to me because you, you didn't invite me. And I wasn't there either, so I can't even tell you, Kev. It was, um, well, it was literally something that Kadeem booked the day before. We, um, oh. He basically found a spot and then uh, completely wired it up so that we could stream in different rooms. So we're just gonna start doing that kind of around the city, see if we can do it in other cities and invite like local- uh, So is it like a pop-up for y'all? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that was nice. So you're gonna have fans come too? Um, probably just content creators so that we can um, jump in each other's stream just cause we like the, it kind of has like a you trash fan vibe. 
Um, shut up, Lulu. I thought it, you were coming. It was literally five minutes from my house too. Then I got the address later. It was like but to five hear minutes all away. you ever do is instigate. You dirty dog. I can't you. believe that shit. That's <laughs> like Pat. That is so out of your character because you are typically. It wasn't my. Of, I didn't know if I was inviting things. It was like already something that was like in a group chat and stuff. So I, it I, wasn't like something. Oh, I wasn't that was in that like group chat. Through. I was. I wasn't in that group chat. And the white people were hating on us because we were loud and black. So, you know, there's that part too. I mean, that's a given. What do you think? They were gonna welcome you? Be like, well, hey, we come there, and be loud. Been louder and blacker. <laughs> <laughs> Just by numbers, you know. Lulu, you Dominican, what's your Latina part? I'm Panamanian. I'm all Panamanian. Panamanian. Yeah, Ooh. both of my parents are Panamanian. I'm the product of two amazing immigrants who hey. just became citizens a couple years ago. Congratulations to your people. Yeah, Thank you. That that's First so generation you here. He's an immigrant from Gerbil Land. His family came over. <laughs> they were they started off in the wheels, you know, but and they came through the not, tubes. The tubes. Oh, they, so. they came over on a tube. <laughs> <laughs> Cap, Cap, we started from the wheel. Now we're here. I got a lot of jokes for somebody that just had a breast cancer scare. You need to calm it down. <laughs> Jesus. God, dog. That's so here. dark. We were talking about Gerbil Land. I mean, come <laughs> on, match the energy. Match the right. energy. Right. Oh, he he called you Gerbil. You call him hamster. I, I mean, come on, man. I gotta go for the neck because y'all keep going the whole episode. If I don't, you can't go for the neck. Me. First of all, you gotta go for the shoulders <laughs> or the chin. So I listen. Just because I don't have one, don't mean I don't know what they look like. Y'all gotta go for the love handles. That's what this even. <laughs> it's even. That's that's even. That's hella even. That's hella even. Hella even. To hear me, to hear that one when y'all be roasting and stuff, he'd be like, "That's why your mom died." Like, hold on, <laughs> right. we was it? Was, come on, man. Gerbil yeah. Land. We, I Gerbil said Gerbil Land. Land. Did she die? Did she die? Gerbil Land. That ain't your real father. Come on, man. He been there, though, since I was four. He's like, ah, you got a double mastectomy. You ain't got no breasts because you have breast cancer. Like, <laughs> Gerbil Land. Hey, what you said was super dark. You, that's you, how no, that's you be you, here. That's, that's no, what you man, be on here. You put too here. much truth in it, man. You put too much truth in it. What I said was just very broad right there. I said he had a no. breast cancer scare. All right, you said double mastectomy. You, you had stage four breast cancer. You got to get double mastectomy because you got two to <laughs> live. You see, you see what you just did right there? We highlighted what you did wrong. You did more of it. This is why he hasn't set a date. <laughs> that, I don't even, to hear. This, this, is, look. this is what you be doing. Don't I'm even get married. I know you're going to get married. When you get married, I'm going to be happy for you. I'm going to send y'all a wedding gift. You, how do you know I'm not already married? Oh, that's right, he, girl. He be Marry smiling a secret. still. <laughs> Meg would do a secret you wedding. She would smiling? do a secret wedding. You don't know my life, so Meg shut is up. Cheap. Did you say because he's smiling still? Yes. yes. <laughs> so that's because. I'm really awesome. By the way, Meg, I meant to tell you this on your stories, but I didn't want to get into a conversation with you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> your son riding that little uh, truck. I was like, this kid is not fearless. no baby no more. He, he don't fearless. care about his life. He don't value his life. He is, he is, <laughs> kids don't even know how much danger they're in. They just be like, he this will be dope fearless. if I did this. I showed it to Farron. I was like, look at this little boy. Just, he don't, he don't fear nothing. He's he ready fear. to meet the maker. Anybody that does care. this. Cause it was like, it wasn't just going slow. It was kind of stuttering too. To he, here, was he was like, standing oh, on it with, no, his hands were, he wasn't even balanced. He was like, ah, you know, I've done this before. This, you just catching this on camera. <laughs> right. I do this all the time. That's not even what that's for. It's like a dump truck. He took the dump part, the little back part off of it so he could stand. <sighs> Sorry, children. Kids be fearless out here, man. Yeah, I'm gonna get a dog. Yeah. <laughs> it's a doge coin. Why don't you just I go don't... to uh, go to Pat's house? He got like a compound mm -hmm. full, of, uh, full of pets. Full Random of pets. Mm -hmm. I did get a new puppy though. Is it did vaccinated? You? Uh huh. It's a little. What? It's a. It's a little baby pit named Abra. Abra what? like Abra? Abracadabra. Mm hmm. She's adorable. How does Hazel feel about this? Hazel's cool with her. She's she's too much energy, so Hazel be taking breaks with me. She's like, <laughs> she's coming in here, like no. Nah. She's like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Remember, Hazel used to have a lot of energy. Yep, she old now. She was jumping on people's backs and stuff. Now I see her. She be like, "All right, man, listen, I don't got time be, to do all this." She be limp, limping. <laughs> how how old is Hazel? In in dog years, she's over like eighty. But like, oh like gosh, regular, regular. Right, how old is she in regular people years? Twelve, man? twelve, thirteen ish. 
Oh, she like on her Ruby. way out. She on her way out, bro. Let her go. Hey, Lulu. Lulu. Dogs don't live that long. Where y'all at the 12 years? Just because you over there drinking a protein shake. Oh, I'm going to live long, longer than that dog of yours. It's on the <laughs> way out. Why are y'all doing this? This is a very toxic episode. We got to stop. Kev, you set the tone. I you did not. Did the tone. I still did Gerbil this, Kev. and Patrick set the tone for this. Wait, well, yes. see how I got thrown first into of all, it? First of all, Patrick's jacket tells me he just got off of work as a Tuskegee Airman. <laughs> 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 yeah, I love that. Jacket is it. <laughs> it's just not the weather. Patrick been, fight, Patrick been fighting the enemies and injustice all night long. <laughs> Put your little Bucky Barnes on. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Yo, are y'all up on, uh, are y'all watching Captain America? I mean, yes. uh, Falcon Winter Soldier? Oh, wait, I'm only like a couple episodes in. It's good, though. Oh, it's man. Dang, Pat, I want to so tell happy. you this I'm part. That's fantastic. Tell him anyway, Ken. Like. Tell him. Tell him. Spoiler. Nah, Pat don't never be up on stuff, the episode that's going to come out. I know, right? I just saw the Snyder Cuts. I just finished it. I was like, oh, I'm trying man. to talk I... about it with my friends. <laughs> I mean, that, that, bro. That movie, forgot what happened. That movie would be 15 minutes long if it wasn't for the slow mo. He has so <laughs> much slow mo. <laughs> That's not true. And that goddamn movie. Yes, hey, the flash look, of man. slow mo alone was 30 minutes. And that shit that. was like, I can't believe they took that much out though. Like they really ruined it. They yeah. butchered it. Oh, that was such okay. a different story. I feel like I was like, wait, because I thought I was like, wait, I thought the movie, the first movie came from this. And I was watching, I was like, no, that's like a totally uh, different movie. It's always Cyborg a different story, story when you take like, out the yo. black people. Oh, Cyborg got screwed. Every, oh, every, black, every person of color got screwed. They took out Iris West. They took out the daddy, trying to make it look like black people don't got no dads. Like, I see what you're trying to do. They took all the blacks out. All the blacks. <laughs> Slow-mo. Oh the, dude, uh, the dude who was going at Josh Whedon was saying hey, this that. is the slowest to hear's ever eaten chips ever. He's pissed off. He's like, come on, let me land the fact that he still chose to body eat this chips. This is, uh, this is to hear's foreplay right now. Now chicka wow. You might throw some dead. You acting like you different from me. You sitting over there, your coochie's wet as hell watching me. <laughs> 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 By what? <laughs> he said he got coochie. All I thought when he said with coochie was your stomach together. I was like, I get it. I get it. Yo. Both of them emptied out the clip already. Yo. <laughs> and then, and then yeah, rubbing his thighs so tight together right now. Trying to... <laughs> <laughs> no, you you burned up some candles, Kev? You God, got some no. you got some candles in the back right now? Make... Those are Patrick jokes. You, those, those are Patrick <laughs> yeah, why I get all the coochie jokes? Think of it. Listen, Anyways, so what y'all rather like have? Sprite or you. Coke? What was less vote? Nobody <laughs> drinks that Coke. shit. We drink water. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's a good slow. that's a good place to go ahead and kick off the first topic, man. Oh um, <laughs> Kev got coochie. Kev we'll <laughs> <laughs> got a coochie. <laughs> hey, Kev, size your panties. You were extra large. Uh, change your name to Coochie Kev on your Any, <laughs> Anything you do in that nan nan a boo boo voice is ten times funnier. <laughs> Because it's automatically a flashback, even if it never happened. <laughs> like, oh, third grade, Kev got a coochie. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. Coochie Wait, that never coochie cow. It's a wiener. <laughs> it's oh. <six> long. <laughs> anyway, what do you guys think about voter suppression, huh, guys? <laughs> Brian oh. Kemp, huh, Meg? Remember what he did about the laws? <laughs> untuck your wiener, Kev. Just untuck oh, it. Oh, man. Oh, untuck man. it. That's <laughs> better. That's much better. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing in that cup, Kev. What kind I of need <laughs> something to that. I need anything that is not what was happening to be the focal point. Now your name. Now your name, man. man. <laughs> Lulu has red glasses on. Huh? Oh, okay. name was the coochie, coochie, point everything. Down. It's all honey. Oh, get the body, get naughty. Ruddy, man got a son, man. Remember Come that? On, coochie, coochie, everybody. Yeah, it came out of my coochie just like yours. Oh my god. <laughs> Kevin, what size panties you wear? You wear extra large. What is you like happening? lace or you like or you like cotton? First of all, you know, you know, it's like granny panty wear. You definitely got some. Some high waisted thigh. Uh, <laughs> Remember when we used to take the cachet card and charge the drop for lunch? 
<laughs> you look like you like floral print too. I like hey, that. That's, to that's, hear. What, that's what got, that's what got me fired. Topic. That's what got me fired. Y'all playing with that card like that. <laughs> Start the next topic, man. Shut that's up, a, that's a dirty face. text from Kev. The, my chair is soaked. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Kev. <laughs> and it's not just from Spill Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Please tell me if you fried it or not. Oh, man. How's it feel, Kev? I want to talk about something else. Though. How's it feel? Ooh, tell me your seasonings. Oh, look at you. Play what? with your bed. Tell me your seasonings. Ew, uh, that makes me uncomfortable. Tell me your seasonings. Oh. Uh, <laughs> my face hurt. Uh, well, well, listen, man. This is a perfect place for us to stop and, <laughs> and Kev to change his pants. <laughs> We'll wait, be right wait, back. Wait. Kev drank invisible water to get <laughs> <laughs> Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> skip, skip, skip. Put it to Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> oh, man. It's oh, like uh, almost one thirty. We'll jump right huh, into God? this first topic right after this. Listen, guys, we all shop online, and we've all been to the checkout where that coupon code is empty. We don't have anything to put in it to drop down the price, and it's just sitting there looking at us, taunting us. Well, those days are over, thanks to Honey, because Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, 30 thousand stores online and they range from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery so imagine this you're shopping on one of your favorite sites right when you get to check out the honey button drops down and all you have to do is click apply coupons you wait a few seconds as honey searches for coupons that it finds on the site and if it finds a working coupon you'll watch the prices drop i've been using honey for actually over a year now, okay? I'm gonna use it every time it pops up because if I could save a couple dollars buying stuff that I always buy, tank tops, shorts, uh, underwear, socks, even food, because y'all know I love the food, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna save them a couple of dollars. Why wouldn't I, okay? Why wouldn't I save $5 here, $15 there? Uh, I think the most I've ever saved on a purchase was like $50. Why, why, wouldn't, I, why wouldn't I want that money to stay with me? I worked for it. And you should want your money to stay with you too. Honey has found its over 17 million members over $2 billion in savings. You heard right. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free to install and it installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you're doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. I never recommend something I don't use. You understand me? So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash squad. S-Q-U-A-D-D. Again, that's joinhoney.com slash squad. First topic of the day, which would you rather be a part of? Making a song with Bruno Mars or a movie with The Rock? Mm. Those aren't really comparable to me. I feel mm -hmm. like a movie they two of the rock. biggest stars in music and in movies. But think about like exposure mm -hmm. and the bag like that you would get from the movie with The Rock. I feel like your, your check and your exposure ain't going to go as far with this song. Well, with well here's the, the thing. Like, you and don't you know what that, that song could be the next thriller. That song could, could be around for the next 50 years. Like, and the movie could be trash just because the rock in it don't mean it's going to be good. Every movie the rock has done hasn't been good. Well, every song Bruno did wasn't great. Right. That's true. That's true. I mean, it's a, it's a gamble. But I felt like I'd get in shape with the rock at least. There's a come up, you know. Lulu, you're not in shape already? Mm -mm, that's why I'm sitting down. What? <laughs> that's why you're Nobody really down? does this show standing up anyway. I could. What? 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 I'm, I'm confused at the... Why would you be standing up if you were in shape? Because I'd want you to see this body. <laughs> we we wouldn't be making eye contact. <laughs> the eye contact? I need a husband. What you talking about? You think I'm yeah. here for just a face? Nah, man, I have a whole package. I want to show it all. I need a husband. <laughs> These streets is hard. Bruno's still in them streets, leaving doors open for bitches. Nah, I don't want to do that. I'm going to... Mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm going to go get the movie, get the bag. I'm gonna do that. I would want to be in the movie with The Rock because 
that seems like more fun. I'm not a great singer, so I don't want to be on a track with Bruno and he's singing good and I ain't. But in a movie with you the rock, you could be playing I the could... drums though, Kev. You play the drums good until you fall off. <laughs> yeah, but what if they have a shirtless scene, Kev? Mm, with see, me and the rock. But, but the, the rock is going to. But train I already them. know the rock, the rock is in good shape. That could be. I could. I could play the Jack Rack. Jack Black role. <laughs> I don't have say, to be the. You say the, Jack Rack? You talking about Jack your breast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jack Rack. <laughs> Rack's on stage. <laughs> if 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 you guys got a script and they were like, you have you have to get in the rock shape to do it. Would you guys even like? Yeah, if they gonna, if they gonna pay try? for the trainer, I would. If they because like they, they did uh Kumal. Yeah. They paid him like two million and pay for the trainer and the nutritionist and the dietitian. They paid him all that stuff and it was like, you gotta, here's the bread and you gotta be in shape by this day. I think it would take that amount of uh investment in my body for me to but be in What shape. did they yeah, look but... like before? <laughs> he was actually not in terrible shape, but he wasn't like <clears throat> he wasn't nowhere near what he looks like now. Who yeah, but Kumal, Kumal, I don't I don't know his last name. He was uh Issa Rae's uh love uh, boyfriend in the, in that uh rom com they did. Oh, I know you talk about. He was also in the Indian um, boy. Yes, I believe he's Indian. Yeah. Oh, what was he in before that? Silicon Valley, maybe? Yeah, I think he was in Silicon Valley. Kumal, I think his last yeah. name starts with an N. But would you give up your uh your hot dogs to here? Mm-hmm. You would? Mm-hmm. To here is a hustler, okay? He'll do to what here, he does. I already got a movie coming him. out with, with the Rocky Road. So what are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> This time there's gonna be sprinkles. <laughs> Return to fudge. <laughs> <laughs> it's just him breaking his diet for an hour and a half. All right, no I'll have ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Hide your chips. Pat Pat would only do it if he could be the love interest for the rock. That's the only way he would do it. <laughs> His whole dream is to get his hair snatched by the rock. It's not gonna happen, that girl. Ah, <laughs> that's not good. Good reversal. Oh man! <laughs> if Meg was in the movie, she'd be with the Walk. <laughs> Why y'all give him that? I didn't get I it. I, Meg, I, it was a. There was a second there. I was like, dang, that wasn't funny to nobody. Whew, thank you, Pat. <laughs> I didn't get it at first. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. If you were in it, it would be called Crock Pot. <laughs> you ain't have no confidence in that joke I, at all. It was the pause after Crock after she said crock it. Crock Pot. That Crock, that Pot saved it. Because Crock, I was like, I don't get it. <laughs> the Crock Pot. pot. <laughs> Cam no. couldn't have a shirtless scene because then it'd be rated R. They wouldn't be able to have his titties on screen. I know they would have to put. Stop! Nah, you look at them. Your nips. Yo, Kevin, you know you should come out with, over there. Like, you should really like develop like bras for men. First of all, let me tell you what. No lie, Instagram keeps serving me. Uh, <laughs> Instagram keeps serving me uh, undershirts for men that that tuck you in. The like uh, they tuck the titties. They tuck your stomach <laughs> in. The uh, they push your man boobs down. I was like, "Why are y'all serving me this?" But also, remember when you were right. ups? Remember How that much? time? <laughs> How many can you do straight, Lulu? I could do thirty. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Oh. Kev, how many can you do? Six. Who Pat? He can, he can do Kev. thirty on his knees. I Listen. do not do those. Kev, you do the push-ups. ones on your knees? Yeah. No, I don't. Although yes, there's nothing do. wrong with those. And those are not girl push-ups. Those are modified push-ups. <laughs> modified? Yes. You, you, you shouldn't what? feel sad about them. They're just modified. You, they're just I, just he, I do those push-ups. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know why. Because <laughs> <laughs> your upper body can't sustain the rest. That's why. Man, you're 38. <laughs> no, I'm not. You are. You're 36. <sighs> Oh, I'm not. You are 36 double D, so shut up oh and leave me alone. <laughs> why, would oh, even, why would I even say that? Why would I even say that? <laughs> why would I even say that? How old are you for real, Meg? 36, though? I'm 36, man. You were born in 84? <laughs> yeah. What is that year, year of? Year of the what? <laughs> oh, year of the rat. Oh, okay. So, so here's that, too. Yes. 
he's the year of the fat, but it's a it's a different. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear. I should not have laughed. It's not your fault, man. He was born in the year. Don't apologize for what you find funny to hear. Said I had breast cancer. That wasn't even a joke. (laughs) He's jealous. He was born in the year of the snacks. (laughs) (laughs) I actually, no lie, I think mine is the year of the pig. Hold on. I'm not even joking. That is actually. um... Uh, Is that like, hold on. (laughs) <laughs> yeah it's definitely the year of the pig no lie <laughs> i remember i was at a chinese food restaurant eating and they, and i looked my my year up and i was like god dang it <laughs> even your birth year was, yeah, was like that. why do they have me on this calendar oh <laughs> what are the it's, other years the what, are, the, what are, also like okay, okay so that's horse. chinese zodiac is that yeah. is that like their aries and and all that stuff yeah so yeah, it's all by year so how many do they have? Do you know, Meg? It's like 12, 10. Oh, it is, 12 like animal that. signs. I'm the year of the snake. I wonder if that stuff coincides with, I wonder if, if if people, if Chinese people like hold to it, like, you know, like American people. Uh, it's true. Ain't it true to hear? It I'm going to read mine I, I don't, like, I will tell y'all this. I do this every year. Uh, my mom told me, she was like, uh, she one day she told me about it because a lot of Asians will follow it. And she was like, oh, you need to look up and see what ha- what's going to happen for you in the year 2020. And I did that like for New Year's uh, that 2020. And I'm telling y'all it was on point. And I shared it with Tahir. And at the end of the year, Tahir was like, yes, that happened. All of that Ooh, happened. Share that with me. Okay, here's so, my yeah, You just look, just look up sign- Tiny oh, Zodiac so. and look up and then type your year. And then it'll tell you what year you were born, like what your sign is. And then you can just look up like, like just type it in and it'll tell you what your, I guess, horoscope <laughs> is for the year. Listen to mine and see if you guys think this is, is, is honest. <clears throat> As the last sign of the Chinese zodiac, pig represents wealth and luck from the ancient times. It is docile, has no plans to harm others, and can bring affluence to people. And its chubby faces and large ears also win the affection of people. However, pig sometimes is not thought to be a smart animal in China as it likes sleeping and eating and becomes fat. And thus it also features laziness and clumsiness. That's Yo, I, that's, about, that's about 70%. You can literally copy paste that. No, can, I no. don't think lazy. The only thing that's that's way off is laziness. Yeah, that is I'm true. definitely fat. I definitely like sleeping. <laughs> you, you bring people together. The, you, What's you affluence? Are, you are the like, human like, piece of like, bacon. That's what hilarious. you are. Everybody oh. loves you. You are human bacon. You could literally like copy paste that into your bio and just leave out the pig part. <laughs> no, keep the pig part. Keep the pig people, part. And people will be like, yeah. That's the, what does it say about chubby this face is, and big ears or something? What does it say? It makes people like them. This is the rat, which is Megan to hear. An interesting Chinese legend about the ranking of the rat goes that Chinese super. Hold on, that's a lot. Okay, I can't read. Uh, okay, I'll just read the whole thing. Uh, Chinese supreme deity Jade Emperor held a birthday party and would decide the order of zodiac signs of animals according to their arrival times. Originally, the hardworking ox departed early and should be the first one to reach. However, the rat hid in the ox's ear and jumped down when arriving, occupying the first place. Thus, the rat had since been the number one in the 12-year cycle and represents spirit, wit, alertness, delicacy, and flexibility. What's worth, what's more, the vitality of the rat, including the high fertility and high survival rate, also makes it a lucky sign for couples hoping to conceive. Hey, how did this I would put I would party? put tag at uh tag to hear and Meg at clever, which I think is what they were kind of insinuating. What'd how'd you the say, snake Pat? get how'd the snake get to the party? <clears throat> that is that what you are? The snake? I think eight nineteen eighty nine, yeah. The snake carries the meanings of malevolence, cattiness, mystery, as well mm-hmm. as acumen and divination. In most mm-hmm. cases, this animal is considered evil. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And the elongated body always scares people. However, in the ancient <laughs> Chinese tradition, the snake once presented a venerated, venerated image and is one of the earliest totems of Chinese nations. Chinese mother goddess Nuwa, who said to have created humanity, has the body of a snake and the head of a human. The Chinese dragon also has a snake body. Today, in some places in China, people still believe the snake found in their courtyard can bring good luck. People born in the year of the snake are considered rational, calm, thoughtful, and loyal to loved ones. I guess I ain't loved. I was about to say the only compliment before that was earliest. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you too, Lulu? No, I'm a dog. A dog? A dog? That's mm-hmm. me, the dog. I'm a dog. I had hope for this. You're the dog. Dog. The dog. The <clears throat> dog is men's good friend who can understand the human spirit and obey its master, whether he is wealthy or not. 
Chinese people regard it as an auspicious animal. If a dog happens to come to a house, it symbolizes the coming of fortune. In Chinese legend, the invincible god Erling has a loyal dog partner to help capture capture monsters. On my side, it said people born in the year the dog have straightforward personality traits, according to Chinese zodiac analysis. In career and love, they are faithful, courageous, agile, smart, and warm-hearted. They know how to keep secrets and inspire others people's inspire other people's confidence. <laughs> I don't no, like the no, Chinese no. New Year. I'm it for you. Thank you, Meg. I like this. This is better than a regular uh, people's stuff. I'm telling y'all, like so every year, I'm telling you for New Year's, every year, go look up your Chinese Zodiac like fortune for that year. And I'm telling you, for it, it be on point. I'm telling you, these people have been around thousands and thousands of years. They, they Zodiac is like, I don't know how they got it, but it's right. I'm scared. <laughs> and even it'll uh-huh. even tell you like months of like of this month to this month be be weary of this i'm like oh i need that i need to know when i'm gonna find a husband girl look on it it'll tell you if you have a good love year or a bad one why are you girl. looking so hard why am i looking so hard <laughs> yeah stop looking so hard because i hate these streets man these streets like, is trash husband no husband no like jesus <laughs> yeah i'll be like what's your name uh what's your credit score nope next <laughs> Uh, what's your name? <laughs> no, wait, uh, no, no, aggressive. People be on Twitter like the next relationship next. is my last relationship. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I'm not on Twitter. No, I'm not. No, <laughs> no. You no. said I'm not on Twitter. <laughs> no. I go to respectable dating sites, okay? Which one do you be on? Girl, I'm on all of them. <laughs> all of I'm them on, are respectable. I know. Bumble yeah. is respectable. And uh, hinge BLK ain't respectable at all. BLK is that all black people? It's supposed to be. You said it's not respectable. No, I did a no. brand deal for them. What I did, did a brand you actually deal for BLK. okay, but like, okay, no. you're doing a brand deal, but the people that's actually on there are first of all, you married. Why are you doing that's a what I'm saying. You ain't, you ain't, you I, I wasn't saying I was on it. I was spreading awareness to other blacks to be like, but hey, to man. do what? You ain't dated since MySpace yeah. was hot. So what you know, know about dating now? I didn't know they could do that with married people. To the table. There wasn't, MySpace wasn't even out when I started dating, man. You didn't even <laughs> know how to swipe on We didn't even have AOL, AOL. I didn't even have a cell phone when I started dating, which is crazy. Yeah. So how we, this is ain't right. I was just I'm telling people tell about people it. I was just being like, yo, black people, if y'all, you know, are looking for love, here's a site where other black people, that's all I was saying. You don't was, even know. Why yeah, you, you, you had to have like a success They story. gave me money to tell people about their thing and I took it. And <laughs> what I if it was a porn site people. and you just oh. told everybody go over here to this porn site? And first of all, the main thing, know, all, the thing. Do- all the dudes put in their profile, I ain't here to buy no pussy. Stop trying to sell your OnlyFans. So Wait, that's what, what you be promoting, exactly. Wait, what? Say that it'd, be, it'd be a lot of women on there who are selling they put their vaginas out. Um, and be they, okay? Yes, and then and the, the majority of the men's profiles, they'd be like, I ain't here to buy no pussy. I ain't here to, to support your OnlyFans. I'm here looking for something real. And I was like, damn. I How did that men become the thing there in that in that community? I don't Man, know, you tell me. I know, Brand Ken, deal? you're promoting be okay. Promoting prostitution. Well, listen, listen. Let's you. let's what? put it to a vote. A song what? with Bruno Mars or a movie with The Rock. The Rock, man. The Rock. I want to be on Fast Twenty Eight. <laughs> they <laughs> gonna put you on Slim Fast Twenty Eight. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Damn, I ain't heard a Slim Fast joke in a long. <laughs> I want I want the Fast and Furious Twenty Eight to be a time travel movie. We go back and fight. Um, oh God, uh, just never. No, <laughs> Meg, what you going with? I'm going with The Rock. Yay. I'm going with The Rock, too. Looks like The Rock has it. We're going to jump right into the second topic right after this. Listen, we deserve to know what we're putting in our bodies and why, especially when it comes to something that we take every day. That's why Ritual's clean, vegan-friendly multivitamin is formulated with high-quality nutrients and bioavailable forms your body can actually use. What you won't find is sugars, GMOs, major allergens, synthetic fillers, artificial colorants. What? What is artificial colorants? What is it? You don't know, right? So why would you put that in your body? Plus, the fresh taste and delayed release capsule design makes taking your vitamins super 
easy. That's what sold me on it. I've tried a number of multivitamins. and was like, oh yeah, I'm going to get healthy. And then 30 minutes after I take it, now I'm burping all day. And that burp is horrible. Nobody wants to walk around smelling like that. That just coming out of your mouth. Come on. You better than that. I'm better than that. That's why I had to switch it up to ritual, okay? A multivitamin should contain key nutrients and forms your body can actually use to help you fill the gaps in the diet. No shady extras. Ritual's delayed release capsule design delivers high quality nutrients, including vitamin D3 and just two daily pills. You heard right. Listen, you'll always know what nutrients you're taking and where they come from thanks to Ritual's one-of-a-kind visible supply chain. Now, Ritual is even available for women, men, and teens. Ritual's multivitamins are scientifically developed to help support different life stages, okay? One of the best things about Ritual is you don't have to leave your house to get it, okay? Your multivitamins are delivered to your door every month with free shipping, and that's always, okay? So you can start, snooze, or cancel your subscription anytime and if you don't love ritual within your first month they'll refund your first order so what are you waiting on take the first step to get a healthier lifestyle a healthier diet and do it by doing this visit ritual.com slash squad to start your ritual today all right you get all the key nutrients without the bs and ritual is offering my listeners 10 percent off doing your first three months that's right 10 percent off doing your first three months so again visit ritual dot com slash squad to start your ritual today second topic of the day we have pizza that's too hot versus chicken that's always cold question let's wait for pat he's over there giving somebody a handy real quick so let's <laughs> let him come <laughs> a quick pizza handy too, <laughs> pizza too hot or chicken too cold question yeah. in this scenario does the pizza <laughs> ever cool down no Okay, and then also, I'm assuming there's no way to heat up the chicken, correct? No. Even in a microwave, it would just come out cold? Yeah. So I mean, is the chicken, is it whatever form we eat, or is it like cold fried chicken? It's like cold fried chicken. Like cold, oh, cold. cold. That's pretty good, though. Yeah, cold fried chicken ain't bad, y'all. Depends on who made the chicken. I mean, if it was good to begin with. It's actually not that um, bad. Hot pizza isn't, isn't edible. You, you burn you your tongue. Yeah, you can't even taste it. Yeah, that's why you go. <laughs> the worst is when you get like one of those pizzas and it burns your tongue so bad that you can't uh. even taste anything else, but then you yeah. still oh. eat the pizza. And that's why you gotta let it rest on your tongue for a little bit. You got, <laughs> and then you eat it. But no, <laughs> like the rest of the pizza, you still don't really taste it. So yeah, at least like cold chicken, you can cut it up and put it into a salad or something like that. Yeah, I don't Our really pizza, like cold chicken. Do. I don't like cold chicken. Because when you you take two bites and it's cool, but then in the middle, it gets too, too cold. And you nobody eats the past the third bite on cold chicken. I've never seen nobody do it. Sure. Depends I'm on how hungry. Hungry. It's good. Okay. How I hungry just, and how drunk you are. If yeah, you I are never seen drunk, nobody eat no gristle to the bone chicken. chicken cold. I'm sorry. I'm oh, I would. I'm going with pizza. Oh, when you bring your mouth, he said it never cools down. I've been eating hot pizza all my life. I'm from New York. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's it's always too hot. hot. It's always too hot. As soon as it come out, you're like, ha, 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 shit. I mean, I mean. They put nope. it on those two paper plates. They give you the big thing. You got to slide it. Yeah, <laughs> it. You turn it the right. other way so you make all the oil drip out. Yep, let yep, the oil fall here. out. That's right, here. Shut up, Kevin. <laughs> I'm agreeing with you. Nah, I, I saw how you did it. I Shut knew up. there was going to be a food topic somewhere in here. <laughs> we I'm couldn't a go a whole session with no food questions, huh? They, they, no. the fans like the food questions. I the like fans, that's huh? Favorite. The fans, that's their favorite. It really is. It's the fans, I like it. huh? I, I had when, a uh, first take was called Cold Pizza. What first take on ESPN? The, the original name was Cold Pizza. Oh, that was the same show. Yeah. I remember Cold they rebranded as First Take. Hmm. Okay. So name like, is yeah, you wake up and you eat cold pizza and you talk about sports with these men and women and then they were like also oh, we don't want the women anymore just, <laughs> just the men. they cut the, the women absolutely they cut the women and the pizza <laughs> and the pizza <laughs> yeah. that's when i, I would have yeah that's when i would have left too i'm like yeah we're getting the best things out of here i'm gone too fellas talk to you later Wait, they were actually eating pizza at first too no that was just the uh, name of the show nah, that's a very specific scenario. hot pizza man just just when things are too hot, you can't enjoy it. You, you can probably enjoy still enjoy it. cold. There's ways to enjoy cold chicken. 
I'm telling you, you put, if you put, I've done it before, put the hot sauce on the cold chicken. It actually doesn't taste that bad. Mm -mm. Oh, because the hot sauce make you feel like it's warm. Mm -hmm. But if you put cold, if you could put like cold chicken into like soup, even if the rest of the stuff, (sighs) even if the chicken stays cold, the the rest of the soup being warm would give you the... uh, the appearance oh, that true. it's all what warm. in the fatness are you talking about? Since no, that's make... a good loophole. That's a good loophole. Since good loophole. when do you There's put nothing chicken you can do. in soup? What kind of soup is this? Are you put a chicken Ramen. in? Chicken ramen. noodle soup is like that's the whole thing. Nah, you nobody's <laughs> ever said you know what needs in this ramen? Some cold ass chicken. <laughs> and then and chicken warm noodle it up. soup is, Ooh, is the name of you said the who puts chicken one. in soup like yeah, that but was it's a... the chicken that came with the soup. Nobody took cold chicken. <laughs> you reacted said, like we were all supposed to be on your page. Like who's chicken in soup? Who's Campbell's? putting cold? You, I've never, yo, y'all Campbell's. must be some real hungry ass motherfuckers. And he's like, Progressive? you know, let's, let's take this cold ass chicken and chop no, it up. When we have, it okay, is. so my family, we always do the Cajun turkey for, for I mean, uh, for Thanksgiving. And then the day after, my, uh, my sister-in-law cuts up the remaining turkey and then she makes a soup and she puts that into the soup and she makes basically turkey noodle soup. So that's... Ba, 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 ba. That's a, like a anymore. remix of the, huh? It's not cold chicken anymore. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. My workaround is the soup is hot. Even if the chicken stays cold, your mouth would be like, I mean, kind of. it's all kind of the same. There's nothing you can do <laughs> with hot pizza. It's too hot. Even if you ate it in the freezer, it would still be yeah. too hot. <laughs> yeah, and it's that nothing like when you, and then when you burn them taste buds, it sucks because then they, yeah. you, they're like numb. You can't taste nothing else, yeah. You yep. can't taste nothing else. And then life, I mean, if you can't taste food, what was this all for? Like my man Creed said, if I can't scuba, what was this all for? <laughs> <laughs> Creed was underrated. He should have been. He was, one. man. He's top three. And also Jim was trash at basketball. I just watched that episode again. He was garbage. Even his like slow motion scene. Even his stuff where they were like, he is good. I was like, bro, you had no handles at all. His crossover. It was (laughs) He just pushed off on Roy. It was, that was foul, bro. It was a charge. (laughs) He just kept offensive fouling Roy. But Kevin was nice with it. But Kevin had jumper was wet for real. You, that's one thing I hate about sports movies. You cannot hide if somebody's not good at basketball. You can hide other sports. Basketball, you can tell, except Drake. Drake running a route. I was like, dude, this is football, and I can tell you don't know what you are doing. (laughs) But, like, baseball, even football, there's other ways to hide it. Basketball, you cannot hide if somebody sucks at basketball. Is there any, like, popular movies where somebody was, like, having trouble hiding the fact that they had no no skills on the court? I'm trying to think because usually the good movies, they hire basketball players or people who can look the part. Yeah. Um, no, nah, I can't think of any. It's usually like in music videos and stuff. Like, hey, what about Love and Basketball? The... No, nah, they love like they could hoop. They can hoop? Oh, okay. They love like they could hoop. Mm. Did y'all see the... Have you... Watch the Catwoman basketball scene. The one with Holly Berry? With Holly Berry playing, uh, I don't know the Mexican dude's name. Watch that scene. It is the worst basketball scene in (laughs) cinematic film history. Wait, she's playing basketball? Yes. Holly Berry is playing basketball. Wait, why do you say Holly Berry when it's Halle Berry? Halle? Yeah. It's Halle, not Holly. Halle? Yeah. I I always thought it was Halle. Yeah, it's Halle, not Holly. How are you saying this? How? Hallie. Hallie. Yeah. Like spell that spell that phonetically. The way she spells it. H A. <laughs> right. There's an A in there, not Holly a Holly. Oh, yeah. Hal. I don't know who Holly Berry is. That a How, What were like, you saying? Holly? I was yeah, saying Holly Berry. Holly, like a O. Like, oh, like H O L L Y? Yeah. So is I've that how you pronounce Chloe and Hallie? Yes. yes. Her name is Hallie. You would call her Holly too. Kev, how long have you been watching this woman on TV and movies and you've been calling her Holly for My 20 Holly years? Berry? My whole Holly life. Berry? That sounds like My an old black whole dude too. Life has changed. <laughs> like, who's that Holly Berry? Holly Berry <laughs> is. Hallie. I used to my my celebrity crush used to be Cindy Crawford, and until I saw Halle Berry. That's hilarious. Because Cindy Crawford Hallie. used to be in Pepsi commercials when I was a kid, and America was yes, like, she, "She is pretty, isn't she, guys?" And I guess it was like, okay. And then they they put Halle Berry in something. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, Cindy, you are out. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is true beauty. Yes. She's still beautiful too. What is she, she like? She is 50? outstandingly yeah. beautiful. Mm-hmm. She was so good she in uh in John Wick. I was like, oh, I ain't never seen you like this. 
And she broke a rib uh, making John Wick. Did she? she? A rib? She was, she was really doing the stunts and like really, into, like she like really trained and with the dogs she trained, she was training pistols and all of that. And I guess in the, some of the action scenes, like dudes like, you know, they're hitting and punching and she, she took a couple of punches that were a little bit too hard and she broke a rib. So a dude punched Holly Berry and broke her rib? He didn't That's punch Holly Hockey. Berry. He, pre- he punched Halle Berry. <laughs> 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 Holly's the stunt double, so he might have punched her. But in in what I heard in the trades, that it was Hallie. <laughs> so. Here, put your side tooth away and hush. <laughs> <laughs> it's already gone, my boy. You, t- you, yeah. tilt your, you tilted your head back to laugh. That was a head tilting joke. It was good because she just told yeah. you how to pronounce her name. You I've been saying it, it for twenty years like that. You can't just switch over quick. Mm-hmm. You didn't know that wasn't her yeah, name. You just yeah, from, Patrick. Just from learning the new name, like oh, Ali. I was Ali. saying it then. Al. How did like you when, think it was spelled? Well, it's like when you learn lyrics. Spelled, Lulu. When you ever you ever learn lyrics to a song that you've been singing your whole life, like yes. and you don't even know what you were saying before. Once you learn them, you're like, what like T Pain. Um, all I do is win, win no matter what, and my hands go up, and they stay there. And they he's saying, and they say yeah. Not st- and they stay there. If they, no. He's not saying and they stay there. He's saying and they say yeah, and I no. still say yes. He is. This so is why did everybody stay here? No. And they say, look it up. I'm looking it up right now. There was a whole video about. We said, and I'm like, why would you say and they say yeah, yeah. when you're saying your hands go up? The next thing would be <laughs> their hands. Oh, oh wait, Kev, you ready for this? Yeah. It's both. Are there? Is both. it? It's everybody's hands go up. And they stay there, there, and they say, yeah, yeah, and they stay there, there, up. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. Down, up, down. Okay. Well, oh, then that's I was wrong. Nice. But I'll tell you another one that I said wrong my whole life. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez on that Ja Rule song, mm-hmm. I thought she was saying, are you ready? Oh, and right, she's right, right. not. What is she saying? Are you Ellie? Are you Ellie? Are you Ellie? Are that, you I don't want to spell Ja Rule's name. I want to say, oh, you said, what's ready? my mother effing name? Oh, are yeah, you yeah, ready? Right. Oh, yeah, he did say that. Yeah. You did say what's yeah. my You're name. Worse. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're worse yeah, yeah. than me. That's when I thought the like the 112 interlude when they like you, Mike Slimderon. I thought it was saying you, Mike Sin tonight. This is what I'm like. What? Yes. No, you did not. Thank you. No, you did not. No, you did not. What, what are you talking Meg? about, yeah. Meg? No. I can't hear no Meg. lyrics. Don't Wait, put me what, on no what, lyric show. Meg, I'm not good with them. What was the lyric? What was the song? It was, it was their name. Mike Slim Duran. They said they their names. names. And I and was you like, said you, you might, might spend sin? tonight. <laughs> you it might worked. what tonight? <laughs> you might sin. S I N tonight. <laughs> I, look, I was in the church and it sounded like it went together. They sing it, sing it. And tell me it don't sound the same. It does no. not sound the same. You it might does. Tonight. It does not. You that was like your, uh, it the night this no, is what you look in you for. like Slim Duran. That, that was your uh, conviction, like Meg. <laughs> that was your like conviction, Meg. You wouldn't, you ain't feel good about listening to that. So the so the Holy Ghost was telling you to say that instead. Your guilty conscience got the best of you. That's what that what was. What we going with? Hot pizza or cold chicken? I'm going with hot pizza. Cold chicken. Cold chicken. Cold chicken. Cold chicken. Cold. I'm not, I'm not feeding into the stereotype. I'm going to go with pizza. <laughs> Also, a movie with The Rock, because Tahir didn't ask me last time. <laughs> I thought you said you The Rock first. Tonight. <laughs> yeah, but I, I wasn't included in the final tally either. Because you was I, hanging out with Holly Berry. You, was, you wasn't oh, paying attention. Oh, Lordes. Holly Berry. No government out there. Lourdes. Monsters Ball, scene 16. <laughs> Man, I still don't forgive Billy Bob Thornton for being able to be that close to her in a sexual manner. He beat them cheeks on oh, camera. I, I, it was it just some didn't feel right about it. I've like, never oh. I've never seen someone beat the cheeks so hard that the birds escaped. You remember the cage <laughs> got out? <laughs> the doves got out the cage. I was like, damn. <laughs> make me feel good. Make me feel good. Do something to make me feel good. That's the doves Bob. out. She asked for it though. She did. She asked for it by name. Do something to make me feel good. That's oh. too much commitment. I st- I'm not. Yeah. That's too much commitment. Yeah, she was all shaky voice when she said it. I'd be like, wait, hang on. Are you okay? Because <laughs> she knew what was about to happen. You let him in you, you're going to be shaky too. No, 
I don't before she was like, can you make me feel good? She was like on the break, break of tears. I was like, yeah, what? she was huh. prepping herself. Like, Hang on, Holly. a lot in that movie. That's what I'm saying. You want to relax? Well, looks like the uh, cold chicken has it. We're going to jump on to this last and final topic right after this. <laughs> I always had this vision when I grew up of having uh, this beautiful front yard and this beautiful backyard. But I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know what I'm doing out there, okay? Uh, that's why I'm very thankful for Sunday because you get to see your lawn thrive this spring with your own custom lawn care plan from Sunday, all right? And when I say custom, I mean custom. Other lawn care products are kind of a one-size-fits-all type of thing, but Sunday uses soil and climate data to create a tailored nutrient plan so you get all the stuff your lawn needs and nothing it doesn't. I just went to GetSunday.com, put in my home address, and their free lawn analysis to uh, took care of all the rest. And it did this in seconds. And I was thankful. Because again, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing, man. Sunday is made with ingredients that you can actually pronounce. Like seaweed, iron, molasses. So you can grow better and feel better about it. Sunday also explains exactly what you get and why. That's very important. Sometimes you be buying stuff, you don't even know why you need that. Why do I need this extra little thing? Well, Sunday's gonna break it all down for you and everything is waiting for you at your door when you need it. All I had to do was attach the ready to use pouch to a garden hose and spray. Lawn care used to take all day, sometimes multiple days. Now it takes less than 15 minutes. And best of all, this stuff really works. My grass looks wonderful, better than ever. I can't wait to roll in it. I'm not going to roll in it because my allergies would fight me immediately. But from the porch, ah, oh, it looks fantastic. So if you want to step your lawn game up, you want people to come over and be impressed by your front yard, I'm like, oh, you really, you really be out here. All you have to do is go to GetSunday.com slash squad. And you'll get $20 off your custom lawn plan at checkout. Again, that's $20 off your custom lawn plan at GetSunday.com slash squad. Last topic of the day. Would you rather be able to breathe in space or breathe underwater? Pat, take it away. <laughs> you know what he would say. I would do underwater for sure because I'm not going to space. I'm not doing that. Even you if would I do, so scared you of would do underwater. underwater? Yeah. Pat, I thought you were terrified of the ocean. Right. I am. You know, half of that terror is uh, drowning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to make big, it uh, <laughs> That's a big piece of the pie. If, if Pat's fear of the ocean is a pie chart, a huge piece is drowning. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. It's back to pie with you, isn't it? it is I, still wouldn't, I still wouldn't go in there. <laughs> <laughs> so many things you could have said. I was making it, man. I, I don't, I'm not gonna be doing this no more. <laughs> yes, you, you are. Keep, you keep it up. You'll be looking at Ty Davis for the rest of your life. <laughs> Shoot program, nigga. <laughs> Ty Davis, you're like backup specifically. <laughs> yeah, I just figured the CP booked that show, so she'll probably be easier to get at the moment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have anything to say about that. <laughs> Keenan Baker, I, Keon Poli, you guys will be looking at him. <laughs> you just trading in one ball head for another? Is that what you're doing? Is that how you make your suggestion? That's, that's what it is? That's what they talk about in meetings. How are we going to get the rest of the team on? <laughs> the Baldies unite. How can we expand? <laughs> Put a ball nigga on each show and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you don't are you, want to hear are you in the ball the group chat right now? You don't, you talking you don't about want it? to hear the stuff I said to you guys when I was thinking it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and say go I, let say the, it. I let the chopper sing in my head. <laughs> Thought it and then brought that information to us. Ooh, if you would have just heard it. <laughs> By the way, totally unrelated. You guys just remind me of this. I'm sorry to hear this is completely unrelated. I'm sorry, fans, but I do want to know your opinion. Did y'all see the Jake Paul fight? Or the clips. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you think that they that dude threw the fight? It, I don't think so. I don't. I didn't. I initially I was like, oh, okay, he just you know he he wasn't a, as good of a boxer as yeah, he, he didn't look in shape. Listen, but, it ain't a no. It ain't the amount of money you could take pay me to get to take a dive with Jake Paul. Like well, I feel like yeah. I can make that here, money. That was half else. a million to basically. 
do no work ahead of time and take home half a million for basically getting punched a solid two and a half times, yeah, you probably would take That's that what career. it is. That's what it is. I think at the point now, people are like, well, I mean, he's not like a real, real boxer, so I don't really got to train. And if my, I just last, then I can get a check. That's my thing. The one thing that I that I, wa- I watched uh, Ben Askren fight Robbie Lawler, he was taking a lot more punches. But UFC uh, style, they're not usually square on like boxers. But from his first punch, I was like, oh, this dude ain't never. Th-. It seemed like he never threw a punch for real in his life. But have ever. you seen the UFC fight where he it, the bell rang and the dude kneed him in the face and it was over? Oh, shit. Sure. Nah. So, no, that he I've has seen, gone I've down a lot immediately of before. Yeah, I've seen a lot of. So that's why I was just like, that's why I was just like, okay, Jake overpowered him, just like Nate, you know. But it was explained to me in a really interesting way, like the same way that WWE cornered the market, and they were just like, all right, whatever, we'll just make it fake so that our wrestlers can like be active longer and more physical, but then we can also do storylines. If you think about it in that way, it it could make sense because he took that fall for five hundred mil, and there was a, a real UFC fight where the headliners. One took home 200 grand and the other one took home like 150. So if you think of it like that, and Jake Paul is so hated, he's like the heel right now. People he pay money. He absolutely is. People pay, are paying money to see him getting knocked out. So if they just separated from the pro uh, league and did it through Thriller, it's all money. So he got 700K and a split of the $65 million um, pay-per-view. I, I throw the fight. Sixty-five too. million dollars. Sixty-five, 65 million dollars. So Jake Damn. and uh, I don't know if he, he wrote it into his contract, but the other dude who lost might be cut into that. Jake for sure is. And but then when you think punch, of it like that, that punch Jake Paul threw was a real punch. But he's like, not fighting any real sure. boxers. No, he's Kev. not fighting. I know. I, I get it. He fought a YouTuber. He fought an athlete. Now the thing was, he fought a person who was a fighter. He has not fought a person who was a boxer. It don't matter though, because at the end of the day, he's a YouTuber. So at the, if it's like, but that's what I'm saying. You want him to fight a, Mike Tyson? But no, but then do no. a whole YouTube, <laughs> just do like YouTube boxing, bro. But don't say you a boxer when no, 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 no. But he's but he's, he's using for, that to make y'all upset. That's the thing. He doesn't ever have to cross. I don't like him personally, but I think it's genius because he doesn't he doesn't even have to cross into pro. He can just keep doing this with random people yeah. that you know and, people, and have everybody in the comments like, professional yeah. boxer, though. These are technically be a boxer, professional though. boxers. You said yeah. what? He's technically a pro boxer. At this point, he might as well. But no, he, no, it he's don't matter. classified as, as professional. Yeah, you can't, well, can I you fight him? Are they doing like gender, <laughs> whatever? I'll, I'll take that split. I, I'm going to get like two, three licks in. I know that's Lulu, me. If Jake Paul knocked you out, I would be sad. He ain't going to knock me out. I don't know, just, Lou. Ain't gonna knock me out. Mm-mm. Actually, man, that'd be a good fight. I'd pay for Lulu versus Jake Paul. I actually would too. I ain't gonna, he ain't gonna knock me out. My last line to everybody key, else I would not be surprised if he, if he fights Oscar De La Hoya. You, you think, think so? so? I would love to see I'm that. Not, I wouldn't be, bro. Uh, Wait, is Logan Oscar Paul De La Hoya had, even still like in, he's, he's able to out of retirement in, in July. He's fighting in July. All oh. the oldies are coming back. He's 50 something. Logan Paul had a fight. Uh, Contracted with Floyd Mayweather, an, ex, an no exhibition. No, Seriously, no, no, I, I, that was true. They were you know supposed why? to fight in February. Floyd it was doesn't a crazy amount of money. Floyd doesn't care about the whole like, oh, he's a YouTuber, blah blah blah. He's seeing the amount of money coming in. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's always absolutely. a bag deal for Floyd. Always a bag. I don't deal. think Jake or Logan ever fights a real, like a real boxer in the sense of like this person is, is really, yeah, like like Tank or. Or uh, you know uh, Devin Haney or any of those people who are really boxing, they don't do that. They I do see something. Deontay Wilder. Man, that listen, he will separate Jake Paul's beard from his face. He yeah, will they kill will, Jake they Paul. Won't, they won't do that. I don't and he's a heavyweight yeah, anyway. Not do that. Yeah. He fought Nate Robinson, who was five four. I don't think I don't think height requirements and weight classes matter to him. Like no, I just think he won't do a real boxer. I feel nah, like a real boxer probably will hurt him. Boxer. A real boxer could hurt him for real. Like no, you don't do you don't do boxing no more. No I'm, guts, I'm gonna no hurt glory. you for real. No guts, go yeah, big no go guts, home. No, but low key, knowing Jake Paul, not knowing him, but based on what I've seen from him, mm. the the payday he would get if it was a real boxer. Man, yeah. you might cross a hundred million dollars a show pay per view. For on sure. pay-per-view, because like Pat said, like he's doing the same thing Floyd Mayweather did. 
Floyd Mayweather, when he was pretty boy Floyd, he was not selling fights like that. Mm-hmm. When he switched over to Money Mayweather and he basically <clears throat> became almost a wrestling version version of a heel, that's when he started getting the $50 million, $75 million, $100 million purses because more people were paying to watch him lose. He's a fantastic te- technical boxer, but he's heavy on the defense. So he had to go for like, I want you to hate me because you're going to, I get paid either way. So Jake Paul sells more fights because my son is the one who told me he was fighting. He's like, can we get the yeah, fight? I, I Jake Paul's didn't fighting. know. I didn't know. I, I had know no idea. Like the that day. Day. I had no my the day before. I didn't know I didn't either. The, the, only diff- the only difference with, with Floyd, though, is that he could back it up, though. Like, he he would yeah. talk a lot of trash. He, he had the moniker, m- money, money Mayweather, but he also could, he could really fight. He had the moniker. <laughs> moniker. Moniker. What? Moniker. The yeah. Monopoly? Yeah. What? I just had to get a moniker. I had to get a moniker. <laughs> I had to get a moniker because uh, my nails are messed up. Also, I need a boxing name. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Name to hear. You could have just said name. I you could have, but I wanted to be fancy. Name. I wanted to be fancy. Oh, I, I wanted to be fancy. <laughs> By mispronouncing what's the, what's a different the glasses word. that just go right here? And it's uh, the, the one monocle. Cool. That's a monocle. <laughs> <laughs> he had the mon mon uh, the mon the monocure money may Mayweather money money Mayweather monocure. Ble a ble a ble a ble. That's all. <laughs> no, but for real, uh, what's it? Jay Paul be making me want to go back into boxing, like seriously, because I feel that. And you're right, he is such a hated person. Like I'm like, shoot, I'm trying to get in the ring. I'm telling you, that like, video that to... Pat posted of him saying my security guard died, and then the robot was just <laughs> in the back, like <laughs> not read. That's wild. Like, <laughs> that was the cue. It was like rest in peace to Bobby. <laughs> Robot back there, like, yeah, I'm doing TikTok <laughs> dances. Like they clearly didn't have the same uh sound system. <laughs> he was just going had his own headphones in. That was funny. What what you know that um that's like a whole campaign going, that robot. What? Oh, is it that whole robot? I don't know. It's like a whole different company. Oh. Because mm. it's about to be our robot life. It's gonna be a robot in everybody's house. AI's taking over. Skynet is real. I'm like, let's do it, because I need a mate. No, you see, you the problem. You the problem. <laughs> you the fucking problem. This is no, why. No, I got a whole toddler. Okay, as soon as I clean, it's dirty again. I'm so tired. what you think they were doing back in the day? They had no robots. There was toddlers in the 50s. Okay, yeah. and, guess what? and they mama stay home and ain't had no job. I'm tired. And you at home right now doing your she job. I'm tired. I'm tired. You, know, you don't need no robot. robot. I'm gonna come pick your robot. The robot. Hey, you robot. work from home for the most part. You That's take the toddler. You take the toddler then, okay? I take the toddler. You, you take, and then you come too? back in a week you and tell over me. Here, he ain't doing nothing but going to sleep. I make kids go to sleep over here. That's all they do. That don't sound right to him. <laughs> go to sleep. So here, you I hope were... he turned. No, you know <laughs> what? You ever see a baby like get up from a nap? They lift their head off of the bed like, ah, right, go to sleep. They just <laughs> go like that. Just that. That's it. That. Go, go to sleep. Night night. Uh, gonna wake up. You're gonna wake up in the middle of the night. He's gonna be standing over you and turn off your CPAP machine. No. <laughs> Baby that's assassin. Gra- that's grounds for me to punch him. If he do that, that's yeah, grounds you ain't gonna have no him. air. That's hilarious. I got, I got a I got a new thing now. I don't I don't have to use the CPAP no more. I got a what do you thing. do? You just put a what do you, gonna... you put a neck bone in your throat? Yeah. <laughs> I keep it open. He, he got the Iron Man version, it's like <laughs> <laughs> he got the oxtail bone. He just keep it in his teeth. So hold his mouth open at night. He has a Jarvis now. He's like Jarvis. Help me breathe. <laughs> I can't do that, sir. You must do it on your own. <laughs> Please clear out the hickory barbecue sauce. <laughs> having a good time. Please remove the ranch. Y'all having a good time. <laughs> Where is it? I got this little joint right here. Oh, what? What is that? This goes he, in. Yeah, you're gonna snorkel it. Oh, Go to sleep. Snap. And that's it. That's all I but have I to use. I thought the CPAP, I, I thought it was like to keep like your tongue push down. Pushes air in. It pushes the air in. This work. I don't know why. I can't explain the science, but this works now. It's all I Is have it to like use. a septum? Is it a septum thing? Bro, I don't know how it works. Hold it up to the camera to hear. Bro, it. listen. I, I, saw, listen, I saw this on Instagram and I was like, man, it ain't gonna work. Cause it didn't even have instructions. It just said, put it in your nose. 
It says <laughs> it said an air purifier and something. And I put it in last night and a couple nights before. And bro, record yourself sleeping. How Wait, much so was that to hear? Dan told you when you wasn't snoring. Yeah. So you don't have to pack that back the CPAP no more. Dang. How much was that? What? How much was that? Twenty nine ninety nine. What? Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. I got some people that need that. How much is a sleep app machine? <laughs> a portable one is eight hundred. Right. Uh, <laughs> Almost a thousand dollars. You gotta check that on the airplane. Huh? Is that its own luggage? What the CPAP? Yeah, you come. You can travel bags for it. Damn. Travel bags? No. That's intense. Bro. That All is right, well, crazy that it, Instagram ad really helped your life. That is a, that is fantastic. Man. Mm. All thanks to Instagram. Look at that. <laughs> let's let's right. put it to a vote. How did Instagram know you needed to you needed that? Same way Instagram it heard, it heard, it heard me shirt. breathing on the phone. <laughs> I heard me breathing on the phone. <laughs> Listen, look at this. Look at this. It's been this 30 because you awake making that sound. <laughs> breathe uh, <laughs> in space or breathe underwater. Which I go going with. I ain't going to space. Just breathe underwater, and I'm still not going to the water. <laughs> breathe yeah. underwater would be fantastic. Nah, I'm yeah. breathing in space. I'm going. I'm going to the space station. Y'all gonna use that? Nah. I'm gonna I'm, go breathe, breathe I'm breathing underwater. underwater. I'm finding all the the crash and sunken treasure. I am. I'm all up in there. You no, know, you're gonna find yeah. all the crabs. <laughs> crabs. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't even eat seafood, Meg. You know, that ain't even my thing. Well, so. you still have to physically swim everywhere. <laughs> just yeah, yeah. But he can actually float because you can breathe underwater. So he could just like idly float he by. He got, he got the bone structure of a whale and they somehow. <laughs> that buoyancy in the stomach is for something. The, bo- the bone structure of a whale. Boy, That's funny, I'm going to go on the water. I'm going to breathe on the I'm going to find Atlantis and shit. They're going to see some black yeah. merman. Maybe I have to find a man. Uh, man that man. don't help pressure. Pressure still gonna keep you from going down. There. Pressure gonna crack your skull. I but if I can breathe on the water, the pressure is fine. Oh, no, 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 those aren't the nothing. rules. Those aren't. We didn't say nothing about pressure. pressure. It's pressure in space. This is yeah. a hypothetic, is hypothetical question, and now y'all trying to apply real parameters. See? So shut up, niggas. There's no. If there's pressure on the water, it's gonna be pressure in space. There is pressure it's in space. Pre- is there pressure? I don't think it's pressure. I think it's just freezing. It's nah, like man, negative that's a thousand. That's why they got helmets. You can't it's the breathe. Coaxial, the no, coaxial that's what I'm saying. Cable. But if you could, if you could breathe, I don't think the pressure is the issue in space, right? How far you been know. in space? I ain't I'm just can. saying, like, because anytime they talk about space, it's usually because there's no oxygen, and then of course it's freezing, so yeah, you can't just like walk cold. out. It's dumb cold. That's not what the the, the space uh, astronauts I spoke to said. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, let's put it to a vote. Y'all want to choose breathe in space or breathe underwater? Water. 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 Space. space. It looks like the water got, has it. Looks uh, like the water has man. it, guys. Thank y'all. That's been another episode of Squadcast, man. Make sure to DM to hear don't do all that. the different topics. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do Appreciate DM you me. for rocking with us, man. Shout out to Lulu for joining the squad. Shout out to Pat, Meg, and Kev. I've been to hear more. Um, Thank y'all so much, man. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.